speak Darkness has to bow Confusion has its final hour Well, good morning and welcome to the Thursday Three. In his classic novel, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, C.S. Lewis has a young boy named Edmund who is seduced into doing evil sin uh, by a witch. And then once he commits that sin, the witch then accuses him before Jesus of that world who goes by the name of Aslan there. Listen to what she says. You have a traitor there, Aslan said the witch. Of course, everyone present knew that she meant Edmund. But Edmund had got past thinking about himself. After all he'd been through, and after the talk he'd had that morning with Aslan, he just went on looking at Aslan. It didn't seem to matter what the witch said. Notice that last part. It didn't matter what the witch said. Whatever she said, Edmund just kept looking at Aslan. In the book of Revelation, the devil is called the accuser who accuses the saints before our God day and night. And then Hebrews 12, 2 says, Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. The very devil who tempts us to do sin then rubs our face in it and tries to accuse us so we'll be filled with guilt and shame. When we realize how good Jesus is, how much he loves us, what he has done on our behalf, how he is the very solution, the ransom that we need, he is the lover of our souls. It makes sense that instead of focusing on our sins and listening to those accusing voices, we fix our eyes on Jesus, the lover of our souls. Let's begin this day that way. Let's pray. Father God, so many of my sins are, are so obvious to me. They are real and they are wrong and it is appropriate that I feel guilty for them. But once I confess them to you and lay them down at your feet, you said not only that you would forgive me, you said that you would forget them like they never even happened. So God, this day as I go out into whatever lies ahead, help me not to focus on sins I've already confessed to you. Help me to keep my attention on you. Help me to keep my eyes on you no matter what the devil says. This morning I declare, I belong to you. I am one of yours. And I will rest in that security. Thank you for loving me so much, Lord. Amen. Friends, thanks for joining me. And I'm hoping that you, if you live in our area, can be part of our Wednesday night dinners. It's just a great way to hang out and be together as the fellowship of Jesus. You can find out more information about that on our website. For now, adios. I'll see you next time. Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you, be gracious to you, the Lord turn